what's up you guys good morning well it's morning time for me right now and i just want to say how are y'all doing hope everybody's doing well um just want to say hey to my old subbies hey to my new subbies and if you're thinking about subscribing go ahead and subscribe um so Rosalind beauty has sent me some nail tips and i'm pretty excited because lately you know i've been trying to do gel eggs and i actually like it you know um it's a little easier than acrylic and i feel like it's definitely a diy you know d what did you call it yeah do it yourself type of project at home nails you know for my girls that don't really know how to do nails but they want something still salon quality period just go ahead and get you some gel eggs girl what is a gel eggs dupe but anyway you have these full cover tips and i love my favorite shape is almond and what i love about these they have the matte cover on the bottom so that way you don't have to go in the inside and etch the inside you already have a matte surface there so i love that that's just amazing the shape is really nice these are long so I love the shape already. So we're gonna, I have, but the thing is that I don't like is that it doesn't come with a nail glue. So I had to go in with my Unagella nail glue to, you know, complete the set. Okay, so right here, I'm just doing like a little slip layer. And then after I do my little slip layer, I am going to put a bead on the bottom, just enough to cover, you know, the tip you know to cover my full nail right there and i feel like that's good enough and if you don't have enough you can lift the you know you can take the nail off before it cures and take off some of that gel but right here i think i did a good enough job you know it's enough a medium like enough of a bead to cover the full nail but you don't want it to go over the nail and touch your skin because that could cause you know problems and stuff you don't want it to irritate your skin so now i'm going in to cure it for a few seconds and yeah so i'm gonna do the rest of my nails and then i'll get back to talking <laughs> So oh, yeah, I do a final cure for 60 seconds and this is what I'm left with. They are really nice nail tips. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around the cuticle just to lightly buff the nail because these are really nice nails. It's not thick at the end of the cuticle. Like where you put the cuticle part, it's, it's fairly thin. So I didn't have to buff too much around there, but I didn't want to you know, buff a little bit um, to kind of blend it in a little bit better. But you don't have to. It looks still good. And um, yeah, you don't. Ha and then plus, you don't have to use a sanding bin. You can use a regular file. Okay, so I'm going in with my Roslyn polish. This is like a jelly blue. Okay, so I wanted to try this. Um, I seen this nail technician on instagram do these um like bubble nails like underwater nails and i i mean mine came out okay but hers looks super super cool but um i just did like the jelly because first you have to do a layer of the jelly polish and you know my way of blending is i had these uh makeup sponges so i just cut them up really small and i tried to do a good job at the blending which I will get better at this because, you know, Gel X is new to me, but it's, you know, I like Gel X so far, so I'm going to learn how to do it. So I did with, did it with the brush, but then I was like, you know what? I have these little pieces of um, sponge that I can try to blend it with. So anyway, I'm trying to do a light blend here, <laughs> as you can see. So, I mean, it does an okay job. Some things that I think that 
Okay, so after I cure that blue, I'm going to go in with the milky white and we're going to polish my nose with the milky white and you don't cure the milky white. You just, I didn't have a dotting tool, so I just used whatever to kind of create these, you know, I used the, the top coat brush. You'll see what I'm talking about. But anyway, you don't cure the milky white. So right here, I'm just going in with my top coat to create these bubbles. I think it would have came out better if I had a dotting tool, but because I didn't have a dotting tool, I mean, you could still see the bubbles. Like, I think it's pretty cool. Um, so if you're going to do this, make sure you do a dotting tool and don't be like me. Okay. But yeah, um, it's still cute though. I like it. But like I said, it would have looked way better with a dotting tool. So now that I put my pink polish in, I'm going to go in with my Beatles um, Builder Gel in the bottle. And I'm just going to encapsulate that just so I won't mess up the design. So I did go ahead and encapsulate that, you know, with the Builder Gel. So right here, I'm just creating like a slip layer. So that way when I go in and, you know, encapsulate, it'll be easier for the gel to slide down. So you do want to do a slip layer when you're using gel. Some things that I think that I can find 
okay so right here i did buff my nails off camera and i like the way they look they look really cute so right here i decided to do some line work because some parts where i did mess up at with the blending because the blending could have been a lot better that's okay because i went in with a little bit of line work and some designs you know because we still want them to look like you know the salon but this series that i'm coming out with right now is just going to be like beginner friendly diy you know nails at home for people that don't know how to do acrylic or just you know can't deal with the monomer monomer or want to deal with acrylic in general so this section these this series that's going to be coming out which i will do one video a week um because i find like when i put like two to three videos out it can be like too much so I'm just gonna right now I'm just gonna do one video a week and I think my posting day is gonna be on Wednesdays um at 4 p.m. Uh so that's that's gonna be my schedule right now. And then plus it's like giving me a little break because I've been trying to put out so many videos at a time that some of them don't do well because I got like three videos out during that week. So the goal is to just do my DIY series at home nail salon. You know, you could get your nails at home, the salon nails at home. But right here, you know, I'm just doing my chrome. And if you want me to do a chrome, like DIY, so you can know how to do chrome. If you don't know how to do chrome, I could do that. Just comment down below and let me know. Um, so if you stayed this long, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I highly appreciate you. You know, drop some comments down below because that makes me feel really good. You know, that shows me that you guys are interested. And for the ones that supported me and comment down and liking my videos, I love you guys so, so much. I highly appreciate that. And if you comment, I try to make sure I give everybody a comment back um, because I'm very appreciative. But anyway, love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Stop it.